let us continue with our lesson and in this lesson we'll be learning about the companion objects in Kotlin and on the previous lesson we have already learned about the objects declaration in Kotlin so the benefit of the object declaration as we have already seen so let's move into the project over here so whenever we have created an object over here database service as an object and whenever we want to access the properties and a function we can directly access it using a dot notation over here without creating any instance if you want to like let's say for a television if you want to access its properties and uh, behavior or a function we have to create an object from it or we have to create a new instance and then we have to access it using a dot notation but in our object over here we can directly access because it's a singleton and i have already shown you that how it works in the previous lesson so if you want to do the same thing inside our class so let's take one class over here let's take a television so inside this class let's say we want to create a same that what we have over here like let's say a property and a function that we want to access it directly you without creating any instance so let's say we have a function of and we want to access this function of directly from this class television using a dot notation without creating any instance so here we are creating an instance and accessing it right off and volume up and down but let's say we don't want to create an instance we want to make it as a singleton and we want to directly access it so how we can do it we cannot convert this class to a data and uh, what we want to do is we want to have a similarity function so we can have it using a companion object so we can create a companion object over here and we can call it as a demo and opening and closing curly press over here so we have an object over here companion object and inside this let's create a function and a property so i'll just say as a let's say as a where and let's say uh, a1 is equals to let's say a demo and let's create a function to function foo or why not we just move this function so let's move this function i think we cannot move this is override function i think it's not allowed to move inside this uh, class because it's override so what i will do is i'll just just create a new function over here uh, function foo and uh, let's have some log over here so let's copy this one log the t just copy and paste inside so i'm a television of foo so we have created a companion object which has one property and has one function so now if we go back to our activity over here and now what i can do over here let's see, so let me comment out this one i think i don't need it so let me comment this one out so i'll be not using it sorry i'll be not using it so let me comment out so let's make use of this television class of the companion object i'll go over here and i can just say as a val of uh, a is equals to e l e v tele not the television sorry for that so it should be television just copy this and just paste it over here dot and now we have directly access to a1 variable and as well as we can have a television dot foo that's the method that we want to directly access so that's how we can create a companion object and how do how we make use of it. if if you want to access is like a static variable and a function in a java what we used to do the similarity function we can make use of a companion object in a kotlin so here we can directly access it without creating an instance so here we have to create an instance but here if you notice we don't have to create an instance and we can directly access it so that's the beautiful thing about the companion object we can compare it to a static a variable and a function in a java 
if you have done programming in Java before, but it has a lot of difference uh, compared to the static variable and a function. But you can, if you have familiarity with it, you can think as of it. But in actual work, work how it works in behind the scene is quite different. So this is all that we need to know about the companion object and how we can create. And one thing is optional over here, the companion object name. So we can just remove this one. So that's optional and we can just say as a companion object and we can just create a property as well as a function and we can directly call it in our other class or activity. So we don't have to create an instance and it's a safe and it saves a lot of your memory as well as it's a single thing. So that's all for this lesson and we'll continue with our lesson in the next video. Till then, have a great day.